177 sailors and marines killed in action on the Arizona. 1,102 are still entombed in the hull beneath us. To the Navy, these men are considered to be buried at sea. At 0755 on the 7th of December, 1941, the first wave of Cape Torpedo bombers came skimming in over Pearl City. They fanned out across the harbor at 40 feet and headed straight for Battleship Row. you were dead. All these years and I thought you were dead. Diane, what on earth happened to you? Well, you just disappeared. I never left Oahu. Well, I put you on the Orion. I watched it sail. Uh, I couldn't leave you to face the police alone. I got off the Orion before she weighed anchor. And then... A couple of hours later, the Japanese attacked, and then the next day, you were listed as missing in action. Bobby, what happened? Well, I drove up into the hills to the old sugarcane fields to watch you sail away, and the Orion was barely over the horizon when the Japanese attacked. I realized that almost all my shipmates on the Arizona must have been killed. If I didn't report to someone, they'd list me as missing in action. So three days later, I shipped out able-bodied seaman on a cargo ship to the mainland. And when I couldn't find you, I enlisted in the army under the name of Kane. And, and you were here all the time. All the time. I'm sorry. I, I hate to break up this reunion. I really do. But one of you is lying to me. Mr. Kane, you hired me to find Diane, but you left out a few important facts, that in 1941, you were Ensign Robert Wicks, and that the night you and Diane eloped, it was a hell of a fight. Now, how could I tell you that? That's what I was being blackmailed with. Diane, whatever your reasons were. I, I, Bobby, I didn't know that you were alive until Magnum told me a couple of hours ago. Well, now, that's very interesting, Mr. Kane considering I've never even seen this telegram Diane supposedly sent you. I never sent a telegram. Then, last night I also received this message asking for $50,000 to be dropped at a phone booth at the Alamoana Park at 2 this afternoon. And why the hell didn't you show me this? What difference would it have made? I'm not going to pay for blackmail. That's why we're going back to the mainland today to declined the nomination. I guess I should have known all along that I never could accept it. Well, that's all well and good, Mr. Kane. But somebody took a shot at me. And for all these years, still bleeding oil. That's where I belong, you know. If I hadn't killed Dutch, I'd, I'd be down there now. Dutch didn't die. He came to me, uh, oh, it was years ago, to apologize. He was broke. He'd heard that I'd helped others from the old days, and he wanted to know if I could help him. Miss Polly, 
You sound like you still know where Dutch is. He's my chauffeur. It was more ironic than a Robin Masters novel. She thought he was dead. He thought she was dead. And only the chauffeur knew the truth. He should have been the butler. I just hoped that Rick didn't get lonely and start talking. Hey, you been hacking long? You got the sport page. Can I take a look at it? I want to see if my horse won yesterday. My first day. Probably be your last. Well, I hope so. I'm chauffeuring the judge around for this pal of mine. Hey, let me ask you something. Don't you get bored just sitting around here all day? Now what's he trying to do? Rick! Stop him! What? Stop him! Hey! Hey, wait a minute! Hey! What the heck is going on? A guy was right over my foot! What? I thought I'm supposed to be the driver. Can they? 